Hi, Maricela. Good evening. How are you? Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? Good evening. Fine, thanks. And you? How are you? How Great. about your laptop? I imagine. <clears throat> yes. I feel so ashamed because it's very new and I don't move it a lot. Now that I have been sick, I have been moving it, but it's good that I was able to find out that there was a mistake before the warranty expired. So right now I, I don't, I'm not going to touch it. Like, because if I touch it, it turns off. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. Like yesterday, I understand. I, so that's what happens. Yeah. That's what happened yesterday. I lift it up. I moved it. So when I moved it, that's when it all went. Um, no, but it's too much. This is too much. <laughs> yes. No, and it, this, this laptop. It's very expensive. I mean, expensive because not everybody, you know, I cannot afford, I'm still paying the laptop and it's new. So I'm like, and the yes. system board is like what manages everything from the computer. So I'm like, you know, it's, it's not fair, but thankfully they were very nice. And they said, no, don't worry. They run <laughs> tests and they, they, they told me that it was a faulty system board. Faulty means that it comes from the factory. So it's not something that I okay. did. It's something that was already bad from it's factory. Mm -hmm. I yeah. put in the chat mm -hmm. that you should ask them that uh, give a new one. <laughs> yes, they they told me that if they cannot fix it, they're going to replace it. But yes, yes, yes. They, the companies yeah. always try to look for ways on how to, you know, yeah. get away with. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see, but we'll find out. <laughs> well, are you ready for the game tonight? Yeah, we're gonna play a little game like a bachillerato stuff game with jobs tonight. Yes, <laughs> I love your class. Teacher, with, with uh, in Spanish, right? <laughs> it's gonna, I know, bachillerato stuff in Spanish, in English is called categories, by the way. Categories. Mm -hmm, that's the okay. name in English. I'm gonna write it here on the chat. It's called categories. Categories. That's how it's called. But this one, it's vocabulary. So I want you to list from A to Z, okay? That's the first thing. I want you to, instead of numbers one, two, three, four, five, list A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, all the way to Z. I will give you, the idea is for you to find out how many words re regarding jobs you know in English. So I will give you the word in Spanish, how I think it is. So Okay. then correct me if if i'm wrong when we go over it correct me okay because if i, I don't know the word in spanish my bad <laughs> so i'm gonna give you the <laughs> word in spanish and the idea is for you to write it down in english okay okay so tell me when you guys are ready so we get started because they're like from a to z so write down a b, are you gonna die with this game no it's <laughs> The idea, the idea and what I like about this game is for you to like, ah, you know, learn <laughs> new words. That's the idea for you to learn vocabulary. Okay. 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 Super. Okay. Letter. Let's start with letter A. If you don't know the word, just write it down in Spanish. And then when I, mm. when I give you the list in English, then you can translate. So that way you have the word in Spanish and in English. I'm going to give you the list in Spanish and then you write it down in English. If you don't know the word in English, just write it down in Spanish. The more words you don't know, the better, because the idea is for you to learn a lot of vocabulary. Okay, letter A. Carnicero. Carnicero. Mm -hmm. Can I use Google Translate? <laughs> Because don't worry, I will, I will give you. I will give you the words. I will give you the words. Okay. okay. When we finish. Okay. Letter B. Consejero. Consejero. Letter C. Marinero. Marinero. O marino. No, marinero, right? The profession. 
or the occupation. Huh? Right? Sailor bank? Yes. But shh, don't say it. It's a game. We're going to find out. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> ah. But thank you. Thank but, you. <laughs> I just forget that word. <laughs> Next one. Pharmaceutico. 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 Next one. Letter E. Agente de viajes. Agente de viajes. Next one. Letter F. Bombero. Bombero. Letter G. Cien... Científico? Cientista. No, científico. Científico. Letter H, guionista, guionista. Letter I, Biblio Bibli bibliotecario, bibliotecario. <clears throat> I'm going to change letter J. Letter J, costurera. Costurera. Letter K, psicólogo. Psicólogo. Okay. Letter L. Joyero, joyero. Letter M. Profes profesor, profesor. But I think this one is more like somebody who gives out conferences, but I'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. There's many words for this one. There's many options for this one for profesor. Letter N. Carpintero. Carpintero. Letter O. Traductor. That's an easy one, I think. Traductor. Like Google. <laughs> Letter O oh, P P letter P Juez Juez Letter Q Veterinario Veterinario Letter R Abogado That's an easy one too Abogado Letter S, recepcionista, recepcionista. Letter T, I, I don't know how to say this one. I think it's eh, cirujano, cirujano. Hmm. Hmm. Letter U. I'm going to change this. Ingeniero. 
It's an easy one too. <clears throat> Ingeniero. Letter B. Sastre. Sastre. One minute. V, 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 V. W, right? Yes. Okay. I but I don't know this one's Spanish. I think it's op optometrista. Oh, thank you. Optometrista. V W X. I think I, I only have until there. Okay, so we just have until W. Okay, ready with your list? No. Do you want a couple of minutes? Let me know when you're ready. So I can share the list with you and then we can contrast. Are you guys ready? Hmm? Okay, let's go. I'm going to share this material with you, okay? Because it's like a PDF. It's a PDF worksheet. So we're talking about jobs, and let me share this one with you. Okay, so the first ones we went over are this ones. So um, Carnicero, I think it was the first one. It's butcher. Yeah. Do you have that one? Yes. Super. So write a check. That way at the end, you tell me how many right you had, okay? How many you knew and how many were new for you. Then we have plumero, which is a plumber, right? Plumber. Then we have counselor, right? Mm -hmm. Counselor. Mm -hmm. Then here, um, I what was letter D in Spanish? Pharmaceutico. Okay, which is this one? So this one, sorry, where the other one? Okay, so it's this one. Pharmacist, letter G, pharmacist. Mm -hmm. Our next one was? Agente de viaje. Okay, so that's a travel agent. A travel agent. A travel agency is the place, and a travel agent, mm -hmm. it's the profession. Then we have, what's our, what was our next one? Bombero. Okay, firefighter. Mm -hmm. Together, right? Not separately. If you write it separately, because it's acceptable too. If you were to write it separately, you need to add like a little dash, like a little line between fire and fighter with a little line. It's acceptable in English too. But if you don't have that line, then it's it's something else. Mm -hmm. Then we have... It is a fireman. A fireman is British. It's acceptable too. Mm -hmm. Fireman, okay. firefighter, fire person. Mm -hmm. Everybody calls it differently. In the end, it's pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we have? Scientist. 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 Very good. Scientist. Mm -hmm. Then I think Yonista, right? Yes. Which is a screenwriter. Right. Mm -hmm. Bibliotecario. Librarian. Right. Mm -hmm. Librarian. Yeah, li you say librarian, but you write librarian. That's how you write it, but you say librarian. Libe, libe, librarian. Librarian. Very good. This one, I am not sure. I think this is British because for me, agente de seguridad, it, I uh, know. Yeah, that was the one I told Costure. you, right? No. Costurera. Ah, I changed this one. Okay, this one is different. Let me write it down on the chat. Costurera, you say seamstress. Let me write it here. It wouldn't be okay. like, uh, like sewer or something like that. Uh -huh, but, okay, no, seamstress is more like, like modista. And sewer is the person doing the action of sewing. 
Okay. Or like the sewing machine. Mm -hmm. But there, there, there is not like um, like a more I don't know common way to say the the same because in Spanish, you say costurera for someone uh, who, who can actually uh, perform that action, but it's not really like a, like a fashion uh, designer or something like like that. Mm -hmm. Here it is. So you have, yeah, like a seamstress. It's, it's more, as, as, as we say in Spanish, it's more like, um, like uh, oficio, Mm -hmm. and not like a profession what happens what happens and how people understand this is that seamstress is more like the profession but sewer it's related to the machine the action of sewing because you say sew, the action of sewing or it could be also like here like pipes so it could be the the like the little machine that actually sews that could be a sewer but seamstress itself it's <clears throat> costurer now, if you were to say, like, for example, diseñador de modas, that would be a different career, like fashion designer or fashion, yeah, like a fashion designer. But for costurera, costurera itself, it's seamstress. And so were, it could be, for me, I could, I can understand if you tell me, oh, you know, my, for example, my um, godmother, it's a seamstress. And she has two sewers working with her. So I would understand that she's the one who actually, you know, takes all the measurements and the other ones are the ones who are behind the machine sewing. It's understandable. Or if you tell me also that you have two sewers, I would understand that you're talking about machine. So it all depends on the context. It's acceptable. Nonetheless, the profession itself would correctly be seamstress. Um, okay. Some. And talking about that, we also have a, but we're going to see it right now, which is Taylor. Taylor is a. Taylor. Sastre. Sastre. Yeah. So Taylor, it's the opposite. So for a girl, it's seamstress. For a guy, it's Taylor. Mm -hmm. For Sastre. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let me share the. Okay. So. And then I didn't use this one because this one was like a security guy. But for me, a caretaker, it's not a caretaker would be somebody that works, for example, in an orphan orphanage or that works at a, um, at a nursery that takes care of elder people like Sara Salivar or Vito Barato. That would be a caretaker for me, somebody who takes care of someone or a group of people. But in this case, caretaker, it's it's considered in UK like somebody who takes care of a property, like a vigilante, for example, or security. Mm -hmm. And then we have psychologists, right? Psicologo was the next one? Was our next one? Or no? Yes. Okay, psychologists. Uh -huh. Yeah, psychologists. Psychologist. Super. And then we have joyero, right? Yes. Yeah, which is uh, ju now here, jewelry, joyas, jeweler. Jewel jeweler. This is a jeweler. <laughs> so it's jeweler, like ver. That sound that you have to make, ver. Jeweler. No. That's difficult. It is. It is very, I, I call it designer. You could also say somebody who designs tools. <laughs> it's easier. A, a, a jewel designer, but it's easier than jewel jeweler. Yeah. That ver, oh. ver, it's oh, wow. like R, E, R, like ver, that's the sound. It's difficult. I know it's difficult. <laughs> yes. it's, it's quite difficult. Then we have, now this one for, prof for conferences. Now, there's a difference. Somebody was asking me the other day, what's the difference between a teacher and a professor? A professor is somebody at the university level. Like somebody who's a, who works at a university is not a teacher, is a professor. Somebody that works at a school is a teacher. And a lecturer mm -hmm. would be somebody who, who's not necessarily a teacher, but it's able to give a speech in public. For example, Steve Jobs was a lecturer at Stanford University. Oprah was a lecturer also at Stanford University. So somebody important, it could be a celebrity or any, well, anyone like Nelson 
Mor what Morgan Freeman was a lecturer at a, at, at a university too. So if you go and you stand in public and give a, a specific topic, then you become a lecturer. Mm -hmm. So that's okay. more like a conferencist. Mm -hmm. um, then we have Carpintero, Carpenter. Translator, or Delta. Mm -hmm. Judge, yeah. vet, or veterinarian, veterinarian. either yeah. or. Vet is like the short word. Uh -huh. Like when you say hippopotamus, you can say hippo or vet, vet, veterinarian, vet. Mm -hmm. Lawyer, okay. not la, lawyer, it's lo, lawyer with an O, lawyer. lawyer. Lo, there's an O, lawyer. Then we have receptionist, cirujano, surgeon. Uh -huh. <laughs> Now, here I think I changed this one for chambermaid. What did I tell you for this one after surgeon? That's where... Ingenier. Engineer. Okay, which is the last Ingenier. one. Taylor. And then I said, after Taylor, I said optician, right? Optometrist. Optician, which is optician. Uh-huh. Very good. Okay. Super. How, okay. Many, how many words do you have correct? Um... How many words were they in total? And how many do you have correct? <clears throat> Tell me so we can make our numbers. Ten. Uh -huh. Ten, out of, ten out of how many? How many were in total? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yes. Okay, that's good. So you had you had ten correct, yeah. meaning that you learned six new words. That's good. Okay, very good. Anybody else? How many new words do you guys have? How many new words do you guys have? Mm -hmm. Anybody else? 10, more than 10? Do you guys have more than 10? Or just like 10, approximately 10? <clears throat> okay. More than 10? Less than 10? 10? Nine. Nine. Okay, that's good. Half. Okay, that's good. Okay, so I hope you learned new vocabulary today through this activity. Okay, I will share the PDF at the end of the class, so don't worry, you're going to have it with you, okay? Which is the okay. worksheet, so you can match. I would say match the, once you get the worksheet, um, try to match, because you have this, try to match the definition of each one, and then check you can go ahead and correct it here. You have the answer. So you will have the worksheet with the exercise. You can do it on your own and then you can do the definitions for each one, okay? We're not gonna go over it because it's very long and I have two more activities that I need to do with you. Our next activity, now that we're talking about jobs, job hunting, which is one of the topics on the platform, I want us to talk about, according to my research on the internet, I wanna share the top, uh, not coolest, but maybe the most popular or uh, I don't know if awkward um, creative jobs that are out there right now. And tell me, what do you think? What are your thoughts on each one of them? Okay, these are called the best jobs around the world. I think this is a 2019 presentation, so it's not like my updated one, but I want to share with you. It's just like eight slides, okay? And I want you to tell me, what do you guys think? Okay, the best jobs around the world. So the first one is, do you think this is a creative job? A Disney Imagineer, do you know what a Disney Imagineer is? Do you guys know what that is? No. A dreamer. <laughs> the person who designed something at park, at park of... Very good, Marisela. It's, uh -huh. Excellent. it's actually the person that designs everything in Disney. From the theme parks, the movies, you know, the animations, they're going to decide if, they're, it's, if the movie's going to be in a castle or in a cottage in the middle of a desert, <laughs> or if it's going to have giraffes or elephants. So it's everything behind the engineer and design of 
movies and theme parks for Disney. So all the design, it's under them. Would you, would, do you think this is a creative job? Would you like to be a Thank Disney you. Imagineer? Giving your ideas and, 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 you know, what do you think about this job? I think, oh, I think it's cool and it's clearly that if, if the Imagineers can imagine that, they will buy that thing for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think, I think that actually- should be Disney, complicated. It's complicated. Yeah, you're right, Luis. And I think mm -hmm. that Disney has a very good team because all their Pixar slash Disney movies are hits. Not just the brand, but because I guess they're very creative, right? They're very creative movies. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a good job. And it's according to here, the estimated pay is $30,000 to $130,000 a year. So I guess that somebody who's very junior will, will, will earn $30,000, but somebody who's super pro and has been there for years would earn approximately $130,000, imagine. <laughs> Our next one on the list is, look at this job, a professional cousin. Somebody that works to give <laughs> people hugs and support. What do you think it's about a job. this one? It's a oh. job. <laughs> oh I yeah. looked it up. I like hug, hugging people. They hug I like people. To. They hug people. That hug have people or hug people. people. It, I'm a hug person or I'm hugging person. Or I'm a hugging person. That makes it that. <laughs> that, <laughs> that you is. Say, I'm a hugging person. I tend to hug people a lot. You could say that. I'm a hugging person. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hugger hugging person. means cariño, like being cariñoso or being tender or being soft, yes. that's somebody who's like, ah, oh, all the time. Oh. Now, in this case, oh. these people uh, work with people who have uh, terminal <laughs> diseases that are, are mm. going to die and they go through a traumatic, you know, acceptance period. Uh, they work with people who have lost somebody recently or that have gone through traumatic situations. So they actually, that's what they do, that's their job, like to, you know, help them, you know, uh, help them with that specific moment or situation. So I imagine. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. And they, and they yeah. earn from $30,000 up to $100,000 a year. So I think it's a very, very good paid job, according to yes. my research. I Our next Japan, there's, there's, in Japan, there's <laughs> people that, that, that will charge you uh, a high amount of money uh, just to be on dates with, with, with them, like. <gasps> really? Yeah. Just to yeah. go out with you? Yeah, it's like a prepaid uh, uh, date, like a prepaid uh, boyfriend or, or girlfriend, and, and, <laughs> and you just take them out to dinner or something, and just for they basically charge you for them. that. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. You know, now talking about that, those dates in Japan, I, I was I was teaching that class, we were going over fun facts about Japan. And one fun fact about Japan is that if, 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 if you go in a Japanese restaurant by yourself, solo, by yourself, they get this big old stuffed animal, like a teddy bear, you know, like a Ted teddy bear, and they sit it in front of you, or like they get this, you know, kawaii i think they call it kawaii teddy bear cute unicorn in front of you to cute. have to have a meal with you that way you're not by yourself because it is not allowed that you go and you stay by yourself in a restaurant in japan like it's like a cultural so so it's a cultural idea they have so if you go by yourself to have a cup of coffee or to have a meal what they do is they put a teddy bear in front of you for him to be like your company. That way you're not by yourself. That was interesting. I really like that fact. So it, for you not, because it's not allowed for you to be by yourself, solo, solo. It's, I guess, a cultural one. Okay, so going back to our <laughs> next one, let's find out. What about this one? Being a private island Caretaker, that's what I was telling you. Caretaker, for me, a caretaker is somebody who takes care of something or someone, but like a security guard. 
Would you like to be the security guard of a private island like this one? Just you, yourself, and and you there taking <laughs> care of the entire island for you. You can use the entire facility and a Aside from that, you earn from $15,000 to $120,000. What do you guys think? I would like to walk <laughs> in, that, in that place. <laughs> it would be amazing, right? The experience. Yeah. Yes. Being in an yes. island. Uh -huh. That would be fantastic. Okay. This is very interesting. Um, I, I, I can be a caretaker with my husband together. Uh -huh. <laughs> and they give you, I was reading that they give you a house, they give you like, you yeah. have you know, you. access to all the property just for you and your family, yeah. just for yeah. you to take care of the island, while the and owners just you. go on vacations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Imagine, super. Yeah, super. Our next one, this is another job that's considered one of the best ones, a <laughs> water slide tester. So you have to go all around the world where, you know, on to all the aquatic parks that exist around the world and test the slides and you get paid for that. Would you like to do this, guys? No, Not really. really. <laughs> I can't swim. I'm sorry. I would be a very bad slide tester. Yeah. I think it's fun. It, 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 it's very almost fun. like not working at all. You just get you paid, paid to, to have fun. Exactly. Exactly. There's like a lot of jobs like this, like people who actually eat or try tea or try food. I know kids, I was reading also as part of my investigation, there's another job in where you, you are a chocolate tester. It's called a chocolate engineer. Because what you do is you try the chocolate, the consistency of the chocolate, and you decide whether it's good for the market or not. So imagine, she said, no, well, I, I, would like gladly, I would gladly do that. For sure. Likewise. So those careers, or chalk, or or for candies, for bubble gum, for anything you can think of, like people who try coffee, or people who try tea, or people who try, I don't know, beer, or or any other type wine. of beverage, wine. Mm -hmm. So I think it would be fun. What about this next job, being a professional Netflix watcher and having unlimited access to Netflix all day? <laughs> so you have to be there all day watching Netflix and being paid for it. So what do you guys think about this one? I don't know because there are um, many oh, yeah. movie or series boring. So, mm -hmm. no. <laughs> so, it wouldn't be a job for you. Boring. Or more. I do it free. Uh huh. Say that again. I'm doing that. You would do it? Yeah. Okay. But Super. free. But free. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you get. <laughs> For this job, you get net Netflix, unlimited Netflix for free. So you get access to all the content because that's what you have to do. You have to make sure that the content is, is there, that you have to watch all, that there's no problems with the content, etc. So that's what you do all day, just watch Netflix. Interesting. Okay, let's find out our next one, which is be a luxury, not any type of bed, a luxury bed tester. So you have to sleep on those beds to, to tell people whether they're good beds or not good beds. They should go out on the market or not. Would you like to do that? Would you like to be a tester? Okay, I think I can do this job. Me too. Yes, me too. me too. Me too. All the time. Bring me beds every week to my house, right? <laughs> I have different models. I have, I've always wanted, I don't know if you guys, I remember in the 90s, back in the days, it was very uh, popular that people would have, or people wanted to have water beds, you know, beds of water. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to try yes. a water bed, and I have never been able to try a water bed. I would like to try to, you know, why were they so popular? And they were very fancy and expensive. Not everybody had a water bed. They were very expensive. They're very fresh, but for me, they're kind of uncomfortable because I prefer a, like a more rigid and hard bed. Oh, okay. 
also for your back because it gives i guess it gives you back problems right if there is if they move a lot i guess you wouldn't have a really good night's sleep yeah. but yeah true okay going forward let's find out our next one would you like to be a professional traveler being paid for you to blog and go around the world and visit many places around the world and travel would you like to do that definitely this is my dream yeah my job dream yes the, this is the best um, profession mm -hmm. I also I wanted work. to share with you that I, I found out in my investigation, I also found out that there's like people that work for Google Map and they have to walk all around the earth and in different countries. So with something like a backpack and with like a little camera. So what they try to do is they try to get the image of all the places they walk. That way when you project it or you look it up on Google Maps, it actually displays the place where they were for it to be registered on Google Maps. So that's another profession that's considered one of the best ones too, which is traveling, walking everywhere to the most <clears throat> unusual places. That way Google Map, Google records it and adds it up or uploads it to Google Maps. Or on a bicycle, I saw two. One walking and the other one on a bicycle with a camera, with like a 360 camera, recording all the places that way they can upload it to Google Maps. And the other one was also to be a professional a blogger, which somebody that's getting paid for traveling, but for, for writing articles about the places they travel to. I think they're very interesting careers. Yeah. I can do that every year every time all my life <laughs> you could do that okay <laughs> yes i know okay so this was actually part of the exercise that i had for you today which was one of the best ones now i want to share with what the insider says of the 31 cool and awesome jobs that people have around the world up to 2019 so let's go ahead i think i have it already open um are you able to see my screen right now my google screen yes okay just checking i think this is it. okay so i'm gonna play it like a short video that way you guys have an idea of other the next 31 coolest jobs in the world and then we're gonna discuss which ones you think they're cool and which ones you wouldn't really like to do okay okay there you go do you get the sound of the video? Yes. yes. The world is full of amazing stories. We're rounding them up and putting them all in one place. This is the ultimate list. Hello? Yes. Uh, sorry, I interrupt. Yes. Were you able to watch the video or no? No, only the. Ah, okay, um, let me go ahead. Okay, let me go yeah, ahead and. I think you're not sharing the. No? Tab. Are you able to see it? Yep, there you go. Okay, super. Yes. Okay. The world is full of amazing stories. We're rounding them up and putting them all in one place. This is the ultimate list. What do you think about this one? Being a Hollywood creature performer or, you know, being like a zombie and acting out. What do you guys think about this one? Mm-hmm. Would you like to do it? Maybe. No. Oh. It's interesting, really. Interesting. Uh -huh. It's interesting. Yeah, okay. it's interesting. You know, being like the bad guy. Let's find out. Number two, a movie prop maker. What's a prop maker? Are all the people that make all those, you know, uh, rubber guns and rubber 
and things made out of sugar, glass made out of sugar, you know, everything they make that whenever they break, they don't damage the actors. That's a prop maker. Or what about being a luxury apartment stager, which is the person in charge of placing all the accessories for a place to look very luxurious, very fancy. I think this one's a very interesting job, being a bonsai master. Being able to achieve that, it's very, it takes a lot of time, right? Like, and, and I guess you need to have, in English it's called green fingers. Green fingers in English mean tener buena mano. When you're good at with, with when cutting people's hair or with plants, if plants reproduce, then you have green fingers. Are, do you guys have green fingers? Are you good with plants? No. 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 La luna, no. La luna. You have to, you need to have green fingers. <laughs> That's a bonsai master. Okay, I would like to learn how to make bonsai, so it's interesting. Next one, our number five is, ooh, a cheese reviewer. I think this one's very... Mm. <laughs> no. Now, for this one, as you know, in Europe, and, you know, oh, nice. people cheese with fungus, right? Awesome. With bacteria and with those little dots on it. That's how they try it. And that's very expensive cheese. I don't know why they like to eat the cheese that way, I guess. That's the way they do it, right? Mm -hmm. Our next one. What is that? Oh, my God. Contortionist. I know somebody who's like, you know, I went to a, I went to a school's a talent show and I met the student who was actually a contortionist. It's, it's amazing how they are able to be so elastic and move their arms and, and feet in so many ways and legs. They're very flexible. Circus is relay. Our number seven, Out. an animal trainer. Do you think you have the patience to be an animal trainer? <laughs> Only with dogs. <laughs> I, <hate the> cats. <laughs> I don't I, like cats. Really? I yes. Something that I would love to do is with koalas. I'm sorry, koalas, with oh. pandas, to be a panda a babysitter. I would, with the baby pandas, I would love to interact with them and, they are and, cute <laughs> yeah that would be my dream job with koalas or pandas Let's go out with the next mm -hmm. Thanks. so they train them for movies interesting they train dogs for movies oh look at that food photographer impossible not to eat it yes <laughs> yes i wouldn't be very that. good for I wouldn't be able to have a tiendita also, like a convenience store. I would eat everything in my convenience store. <laughs> I don't think I'm a, I'm a good, I wouldn't be good at it. What about this Japanese candy artist? Look, they're so creative. That's an interesting job. Number 10. No. Firearms trainer. No. What do you guys think about this one? Would you like to train people on how to shoot guns? Hmm. No. Not at all. Uh, no. Maybe. A guitar maker. Guitar maker. Mm -hmm. What about this one? A royal etiquette teacher. So somebody who teaches others how to how to sit properly, how to use the cautery, how to use the, you know, and what to do where things should go. 
So that's an etiquette teacher. Hmm. There's actually etiquette classes, which are a little bit expensive too. How to walk, how to stand, what to do, etc. No, boring. No, <laughs> I don't have patience. UFC cut woman. Oh, wow. Somebody who actually takes no. care of people. Oh. <laughs> I don't like Look the Look at that. Like a paramedic inside a ring. A cranberry yeah. farmer. Look at that. What do you guys think about that one? Those are cranberries. All of those are cranberries. So make cranberry juice. So you have to like step on them to make the juice. Mm -hmm. A lead maker. Like the people from Hawaii that makes all those accessories to receive people or welcome people when they arrive to the island. Hello. It could be nice. Just, I would like to learn how to make flower bouquets and like as, as a hobby, yes. But like to do it for a living, I don't know. No. No. Number 16. Special effect artist. Mm. Hmm. I'm just going to show you 20, okay? So we can move on to the next activity. A pottery maker. I think this is an interesting one. Like ghost. Huh? Like the movie Ghost. Huh? <laughs> pottery, pottery. And then number 18. A millionaire. What's a millionaire? Oh. Mm -hmm. A milliner mm. is a person who makes um, all those fancy, extravagant, um, I wouldn't say cost. Yeah, they're like costumes, but accessories for, for artists. Like, you know, what's this name of this girl that's very controversial? What's the name of this girl that uses, you know, Lady, Lady Gaga? Gaga. Gaga. Thank you. <laughs> Lady Gaga or, you know, or I don't know, Marilyn Manson. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> thinking of extravagance, right? So something extravagant to use an, as an accessory or things just to perform. Mm -hmm. 19. A Hollywood, a Hollywood <laughs> voice acting trainer. So somebody who trains what voice they have to make and how to make it. Hmm. Not, not a good job. <laughs> and the last one I'm going to show you. What's that? Maple syrup, maple syrup maker. You know, like the one that you put, maple syrup is what you put on top of pancakes, like Aunt Jemima, you know, those, la culmenita, and those are maple syrups. So that is a maple syrup maker. Somebody who actually creates, it comes from a tree. From the bark of the tree that's where they actually get it okay well this was actually part of the insider i'll share the link as well that way you, if you want to continue watching it that would be great okay and our last activity would be to do the exercise on the platform so let's go ahead and do that so it's exercise 5.8 which is called job hunting so I'm going to play the audio, listen to it carefully, and then we're going to, we're going to answer all three. Just, we just have three questions to answer, okay? Each one, what profession is each one, okay? So let's pay attention. Listening. Job hunting. Part A. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that would be best for each person. 1. Bill. So what kind of job are you looking for? Well, I haven't made up my mind. I love working with people, and I love traveling. I don't want a job where I'm stuck in an office all day. I want to get out and see the world. Are you interested in working in business? That's where you can sometimes make good money. I'm not really interested in making a lot of money at this point in my life. 
I'll worry about that later. 2. Shannon What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country. But that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. E. Ben. What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular 9-to-5 job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting. Maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Page 66. Exercise 5. Part B. Okay. So, let's go over the answers. What do you guys think are the answers? For number one, what do you think Bill is? Flight he attendant. Wants, flight attendant. He wants yes. to be a flight attendant or he is a flight attendant. What about Shannon? She's interested in being a? Doctor. So, Excellent. And the last one, Ben is interested in being? Model. model. A model. Very good. Remember that model. D becomes an R. Model, model. model. Okay. Model. The D becomes model. an R. Model. 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 Okay. Model. Super. <gasps> Great job. Okay, coquetators and coquetatas. So as always, <laughs> time's running up. So I have another class to run to. So thank you so much for connecting. Remember that we have class tomorrow and Friday to replace the one that we missed yesterday, okay? Okay. So we can catch up on that. Okay. And, okay. Um, and remember to work on your platform. That way you <laughs> have it done by Friday, okay? And that way we can begin the next uh, intermediate as soon as possible. Okay. Okay, okay boys. Super. Thank you so much for connecting. As always, have a wonderful night. And I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Thank tomorrow. you. Bye. Good night. Good you night. too. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.